Hi, this is Michael Antis with Unique Sequence. I'm here today making this video uh, to showcase how HeavyM works and how to use it when setting up your projection mapping scene. Uh, links uh, to their website and Kickstarter can be found in the description. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you can see, I already have HeavyM up. Uh, when you launch HeavyM, um, you get two windows. Uh, this is the control GUI or interface, and this is the actual um, output window. Um, uh, what we want to do with the output window selected, um, we want to go, uh, go ahead and click on it here and go to Preferences. And um, go ahead and put a check mark in this Use Extended, uh, I don't know why that was checked. Uh, yeah, check this Use Extended Desktop. Um, and that way when we output full screen, it'll output an extended desktop mode. Uh, so once you've got that checked, go ahead and click OK. Uh, everything else you're just going to leave alone for now. So click OK. Um, and now let's go ahead and make it full screen. So there we go. We can see it's full screen. Um, here, uh, you know, I've got buttons that I think everyone should pretty much be familiar with. Open, save, delete, undo, redo, um, full screen. Uh, this is going to be for the face and the scene area here. Uh, these save and open buttons are for the presets. Um, first thing that you're going to want to do, or what I always do, is uh, enable the crosshair. Um, this makes mapping... Uh, much much easier because you can see exactly where you're clicking. Uh, this is draw mode. If you have this um, enabled or highlighted, uh, this is edit mode. So this will edit the points on faces you've already created. Uh, but we'll go ahead and go back to edit mode or draw mode since we don't have any faces. Um, this you can do it by by points. Uh, this is uh, it'll just you know click anywhere and this will create uh, or anywhere in this black area this will create triangle shape this will do a square shape um, I like to do the points um, that way you don't really have to resize you just click and it's really that easy it's click 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 and you your projection mapping so here we go first face uh, it's gonna be yeah right mode okay so click 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 so there we go, we've got a new face. If we start clicking right now, um, it's just going to continue to add more points, which we don't want in this instance. So if we just right click anywhere where there's not currently a face, um, that will deselect it and we can start um, clicking new points for a new face. There we go, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right click, one, two, three, Four, right click one two three four one two three four so as you can see it's uh, really as easy as one two three four with the mouse clicks um, it's yeah very very easy so there you go so that's uh, we've got some faces here um, uh, you've got this magnet tool here. This will, if you click on a vertex and move it, it will automatically, oops, if you're in edit mode, that is. Uh, if you go to edit mode, this magnet, if we click on this vertex, um, it'll try to snap it to, if we get it close to another vertex, it will snap it. If it's enabled, there we go. So There we go. See, it kind of snapped over there. So I'm going to undo that because I don't want that. Um, this can make the uh, point sizes uh, bigger or smaller. Um, there we go, highlight, you can see it better there. So I like the points smaller, um, just seems to be a little bit easier for me. I can see things better. Uh, big, just seems uh, if you got a bunch of faces, um, just going to kind of block one another. Um, so there's that, and uh, if you want to delete a face, um, you can just highlight it, hit the delete key, delete it, uh, undo. If you want to highlight multiple faces, uh, it's just uh, hold down command and click. And if we want to duplicate these, just Command C, Control B, or Command V if you're Mac PC. So Command C, Command V, and there we go. It 
duplicated them for me here. Uh, go ahead and undo. Uh, so that's that. Um, you can also use the arrow keys um, to fine tune uh, these points rather than using the mouse. So just highlight it and you can see here using the arrow keys it slowly increments uh, to get those uh, lined up perfectly. Um, the scene. Uh, this seems to be where some folks have uh, been struggling. Um, so scene, we want to go into draw mode. Uh, can't do it by points, just have to do it by the shape. Uh, just click here. Now we're going to go to edit mode, make these points. I'm just going to stretch it out for the whole scene. Make sure all of my blocks are in here. Try to make it square as possible. Okay. And to put something there, just go to library and just drag a, a video clip here. And it's not playing for some reason. Let's try a different clip. There we go, that one played. And as you can see, um, we've got that mapped on on all the faces now. It's playing the video. Um, here for the presets, um, let me just change something here. Here we go. So, uh, so I've got a change here. Um, if we click on number two here, or I double click. Um, let's see here. We'll just go activate something different so we've got some changes here so if we save this preset um, this will save it for the whole 16 slots um, it's not individual slots um, which is what I had initially thought uh, but when you save this or open this it's going to be for all 16 um, preset slots so um, yeah, you can just save this anywhere uh, and then when you go to reopen it um, it will have all of those saved in there. So I've already got one created here that I'm going to just go ahead and, and load. And there you go. You can see it's got uh, some presets. Um, hit the play button here. So yeah, so if you don't have the play button here, um, I don't fully understand how it dictates what the behavior is. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if you need, need to hit play, if it's not showing correctly with the preset, make sure you've got um, play enabled. And uh, if this arrow uh, is yellow and it's pointing down, it's, it's just going to sit here. Um, if you hit this, it's going to cycle through all of the presets. Um, as you can see, yeah, the two is flashing there, three. Um, this will shuffle it around so it's not the same order every time. And, of course, uh, if we hit stop... It's just going to stop right there. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it um, for now. Um, there's more, uh, you know, with audio analysis and siphoning and you know increasing the gains. Um, but uh, that'll do it for this. Hopefully, uh, you found this helpful. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, uh, go ahead and post a comment, and uh, thanks for watching.